Bitcoin is down over 6.5% in the last week, and it continues to fall, now slipping below 27,000. And in this video, I'm going to go ahead and break this all down to you, explain what's going on right now with Bitcoin, why the price is moving lower, and then also what we can expect from the Bitcoin price and how the new supports and the new resistances come into play. I'm Cody, and I'm going to go ahead and bring you all that information, plus Ethereum, plus a Binance coin. We're going to go through and look at the chart TA, and I'm going to take a look at some other factors that are affecting crypto right now. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So what we have here is a very important event that happened today. We had the most recent economic data come out, and that was the producer price index. So that came in a little bit lower than expected, which is bullish. However, we also have initial and the initial jobless claims come in higher than expected. It was expected to be 245,000. Instead, it showed up as 264,000. And so what that means is that more people are being driven to uh, file these jobless claims, which has some people worried about a potential recession in the near term. And that's one of the reasons why the Bitcoin price has been dragging down recently. And one thing we've seen in the past couple of days, we've just seen like an, uh, a completely relentless deluge of sellers show up right now for Bitcoin. I'm have the I have the daily up right here, and we can see that ever since Saturday, we've had nothing but red days for Bitcoin. And in fact, right now Bitcoin is under that crucial support level of twenty seven thousand. And I think what we have here is uh, the next layer of support I would actually put here at about 26,600. Below this level, however, there's not a lot of support before you get all the way back down here to 25K. And I've said before in the past that if Bitcoin loses this 2700, this 27,000 level, then it is entirely possible that we will wind up seeing it return all the way back to 25,000. And I do think that that's, from the way things are going, I think that's actually a likely possibility. And we have this strong support level here, again, taking out 27,000. And the next strongest support level is going to be here at 26,600. And if that level fails, then we're going to see 25,000. And specifically, at 25,000 is where I actually really start to get excited about Bitcoin and the Bitcoin price. That is a level that I've been looking at uh, actually going in and buying Bitcoin. Now, as a reminder, I have not bought any Bitcoin since the huge dump that we had here back in March. This is when I, I came down and I actually dip bought at about 20,000 or so, and I have not bought since then. So I haven't bought any of this stuff up here, none of this stuff. I've been waiting for a big pullback. And so far, what we've seen is we could potentially be on the verge of another huge Bitcoin pullback if the support, the support band right here does not hold. And in fact, if we take a look at the RSI on the daily, we can see we're actually at about 38, which is a level that we haven't seen since that huge March dump off. And usually I like to buy on big capitulations. Like I said, I bought back down here because uh, specifically with the RSI that was under 30, indicating that it was oversold. And again, that is where I'm looking to add to my Bitcoin position. I would say about 25,000 or somewhere around 25,000. Uh, that is where I really start to get excited to add to my Bitcoin position. So if we take a look at the funding rate, what we can see here is that the funding rate has been kind of off and on. It's been kind of long and short and long and short and then a lot of short here and then long and short. You can see it's kind of flipping back and forth. So right now we have is the longs and the shorts are fighting each other for dominance. They currently have not been able to establish uh, either longs dominant long term or shorts dominant long term. And so uh, the derivatives market that we're seeing right now has really no clue 
where Bitcoin is going to be going. And that's kind of in stark contrast to what we've seen the the entirety of, of May and April, where most of this time was dominated by these longs. And uh, longs maintained this dominance for almost the entire month of April. Now we're starting to see the shorts kind of pop in. They're trying to take control in the derivatives market. And so far, they're having a larger effect than they had in the past. And also, I want to take a look at the uh, exchange uh, reserve for Bitcoin. So we've pointed out in the uh, last video that we've actually had a significant amount of Bitcoin being taken off of the exchanges. And we're starting to see that kind of uh, dissipate a little bit. We're not seeing as much pulled off of the exchanges. And now we actually have a little bit of a rise up in the amount of Bitcoin that are available on the exchanges. So it, that would indicate that more people are selling uh, than are buying right now. And one other thing I want to direct your attention to is the Bitcoin NVT Golden Cross. This gives us an idea of local tops and local bottoms for the Bitcoin price. It's not 100% accurate, but it is accurate a majority of the time. And I pointed out in, uh, in a video about a week ago or two ago that it was reaching its peak here at about April 23rd. So what that means is it comes up here into this red zone, it peaks up, and then it falls dramatically. And if I overlay this with the price, what we can see here is that it's actually pretty accurate so far. Again, kind of peaking right here on the 15th, and then again uh, a little bit after the peak here on the 23rd, so about, say, the 26th or so, and then immediately coming back down again, and the Bitcoin price also coming back down again as well. Now, with the NVT Golden Cross, you can see the local tops here in the red, and you can see the local bottoms here in the green. Right now, we're headed towards a local bottom, but we haven't hit there just yet. And if you guys are interested in keeping up with this, this is something I'm going to cover as much as I can and post on my Twitter. So if you're interested in getting the most updated information, be sure to follow me on Twitter for that information. So we are rapidly approaching a Bitcoin bottom. So if we come down here to about 25,000, we're probably going to hit this green zone and then we're going to bounce out of it just like we saw here on the 13th, uh, 14th, and 16th of March, which is where we had our, our previous local bottom. Now, one of the other reasons why Bitcoin has been falling so much is because we've seen some huge liquidations in uh, Bitcoin and we've seen a massive number of long liquidations happen on the 9th of May, over 55 million, and then on the 10th of May, over 21 million. And so this is one of the reasons why we've seen Bitcoin price move down, because all these long liquidations happen, and the price moves lower as a result. So this is something that we've seen happen uh, many, many times before where we have a huge buildup of long positions and those long positions get trapped as the Bitcoin price moves down and then those positions are liquidated, causing further losses. Now, I also want to go ahead and talk about the total, the total crypto uh, market cap as well. Total crypto market cap is down over 2.5% so far. And what's really interesting about this so far is what we're seeing is the total market cap go down and we're also seeing the altcoin market cap drop dramatically as well. I have the one-month chart up here, and it's at a one-month low. If we zoom out to the three-month, we can see that we're at the same level we were at in about March 15th or so. So that was almost two months ago that we saw this altcoin market cap be at this level. However, if we go to the stablecoin market cap chart, what we're seeing is actually a little bit of a, an increase. It's kind of broken trend here where it's downtrended the whole time. Now we're starting to see it move up a little bit. So what that's telling me is that now you're having more investors and traders selling their altcoins, selling their bitcoins, and instead going into stablecoins. That would kind of almost indicate that they're expecting a recession and they want to get out of the altcoins or even Bitcoin, and they're going to be coming back in as soon as the all clear is, uh, is sounded and the recessionary fears are, uh, are, are done or have moved on. So that's right now what I'm seeing in the broader crypto space. And I'm going to go ahead and take a look at our Ethereum chart TA as well. I have multiple lines here, red lines, uh, resistance lines, and blue lines are going to be our support lines. And what we have here is a similar situation to Bitcoin where it came through this 
in strong support here at 1800, fell through the strong support, and now what I'm seeing here is the next strong support we're looking at is about 1718, almost 1700. That is where I would expect the Ethereum price to head and hopefully to, to bottom or to bounce significantly. Now for a Binance coin, it's a similar kind of story. Binance coin lost support here at 315, and now it actually went all the way down to that 300 level that I've been talking about for Binance coin, and it was bought up all the way up to this point. You can see that's a very long wick to the downside, and it kind of looks a little bit like what we saw here on April 3rd where they had all this, uh, this huge wick to the downside. It was all bought up, and then it went sideways for a little bit. So I wouldn't be surprised if we wind up getting some more sideways action from Binance coin in the next couple of days. There's also something really important I want to talk about when it comes to Bitcoin dominance. Now, Bitcoin dominance, I had previously pointed out that we have kind of a double topping pattern go on here. Bitcoin dominance has actually come back down again. So this does look like a double top. And if this is a double top, then we can expect Bitcoin dominance to come all the way back here to almost 47%. And I do think that that's probably the most likely outcome. We'll wind up seeing Bitcoin dominance uh, come back down again. And if that's the case, you can have Ethereum or other altcoins as the beneficiary in the next couple of days. And this is kind of, it kind of goes counter to what you would think. Because if you have a recessionary environment, traditionally investors and traders are going to be getting out of altcoins. However, I would also like to point out the fact that uh, as we've seen in the, the total market cap, stable coins have been on the rise. So if Bitcoin dominance goes down, the most likely beneficiary is going to be stable coins as investors look for safe places to put their money. All right. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think about the Bitcoin price and specifically losing that 27,000 support. Does that mean we're going back down to 25K? What do you guys think? Let me know. And be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this content and let me know leave a comment below this is cody the coin raptor and i hope to catch you guys on the next video